Salesforce Security and Identity, SSO, SAML Configuration and Flow. Today we're going over Salesforce as, an, as a service provider under an external identity provider. And we're gonna be talking about the high level configurations. In subsequent videos, we'll be diving into actual hands-on and showing the configurations. Today we're establishing the high level process. So when you have a browser, it is gonna be going between the identity provider and Salesforce, the service provider. And there will be elements such as a SAML request going to the identity provider, a SAML assertion or SAML response going to the service provider, Salesforce. There'll also be an exchange cert digital certificate for validation, either encryption or digital signature. Um, you're gonna be, uh, a couple of steps you're gonna have to do is on the identity provider, configuring the connected app, setting up the digital certificate, and then configuring the redirects to the service provider. Down on the service provider side, you're gonna be enabling, make sure your My Domain is configured. You're gonna be enabling SAML and configure. You're gonna be uploading the certificate that came from the IDP, and you'll be configuring the redirects from to the IDP. You'll also be able to get some sample SAML, SAML assertions, and in Salesforce, you can validate them. On the IDP side, you may need to validate the sample um, SAML requests. Now, when the IDP sends the SAML assertion to Salesforce to say, this is a valid user that has been authenticated, automatically let them in. There will be some identifier that identifies the user, a common piece of information between the IDP and Salesforce. And in Salesforce, you designate that as the Federation ID, which sits in Salesforce on the user record. So you, can, you don't have to use the username in Salesforce as the Federation ID. It could be another piece of information, such as an employee number or some other number or code to identify the user. So these are the high level um, components for Salesforce as a service provider and an IDP. Now let's walk in to a particular flow. And what I mean by flow is a sequence of events that will occur in this particular case, we're saying it's the beginning of the day, there is no established login, and then the user is clicking to some kind of link or trying to navigate to their org. So in step 1A, they attempt to access a secure resource page on the org instance on the far right, and they're not logged in. Salesforce will detect that and redirect um, with a SAML request. So the redirect is a command to the browser on the page response to tell it to automatically navigate to another page. So then on 2.1b, Salesforce redirects to the IDP with a SAML request, which returns back to the browser then in 2A, the browser automatically, without user intervention, is taken to the authentication process of the IDP. Now, once at the I, then that authentication will progress. This could be a login page. This could be a login page with MFA, multi-factor. Whatever is configured in the IDP, it will perform the user authentication. Once that authentication is successful, then the IDP will then do a, create a SAML assertion back to Salesforce, the service provider, and send that in the redirect. So the SAML assertion, either digitally signed or digitally encrypted, will be sent back in the response in 2B. Then in 3A, the browser will automatically navigate back to the service provider's authentication service, Salesforce, and pass in a valid SAML assertion. What Salesforce will do would be to validate the SAML assertion. That will be to either check its digital signature or decrypt it using the shared digital certificate. It'll validate the date timestamps to make sure it's not a replay attack and a number of other elements. And then when that's successful, Salesforce will issue a session and send it back to the browser, which will then trigger the user taken automatically to their org instance. So from a user's perspective, they're gonna click on a Salesforce link at the beginning of the day, they'll get a pop-up, a login screen, and then when they finish logging in, they'll be automatically to the link that they intended. So this is the high-level SAML flow. 
Now we'll be going into more detail in subsequent videos and we'll talk about deep links using relay state and how that is carried along. But this is the high level flow. So I hope this was helpful. We've gone through a, the key components to setting up Salesforce as a service provider. And we've walked through a service provider initiated flow, which is when someone goes straight to Salesforce, sent to the login screen, and then brought back again. In subsequent videos, we're actually gonna start setting this up using a Salesforce org and walking through the details of the configuration. Thank you very much. And hope this was helpful. Tune again, same bat time, same bat channel, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Steve Techart, and have a great day.